errors, forgotten but not gone. So how often have we, has anyone here, uh, forgotten to check a status value or an error code after it was returned from a function? Yeah, a few of us. So here's a couple of APIs that return errors. And two wrongs don't make a right. And two rights are still wrong. Still should have checked. So is it a runtime error? <laughs> Sometimes the system is OK, but still very unexpected things can happen. Or is it a code bug? Sometimes the system is really screwed up. That was not good routing for a bike race. In this particular case, I think it's a code bug. And so what should happen if an error is forgotten? Any ideas? Terminate. Terminate, yes. Yes. Abort's fine. Just exit the app. So how would you detect a forgotten error? Errors need to get a life time. So I was working on a project quite a few years ago um, where I built a virtual smart card uh, emulator in Windows. And that was where I first started exploring this concept. The actual library implementation at the time wasn't very good because I hadn't considered it to be a <coughs> lifetime issue. So what we want is to go boom. And unique error does that. So with unique error, you treat your errors like a resource, like any other resource. And if you reset without checking an error, you get an abort or a terminate or whatever you want. Even if you don't reset on destruction, if you haven't checked it, it goes boom. If you check it, <clears throat> it's safe. You can reset it again. If you release it to return to a caller as, a, as the original plain error, then it won't go boom. It's safe. If you return the unique error itself as the result of the function, then the ownership of the failure, the impending doom, transfers automatically into the caller. You can expand it with traits. All you have to do is tell it what to initiate the error to and what constitutes OK. And then we also can build other utilities that let you take the very common bool return value of a Windows API and get the last error and return that as a unique win error. So that you can do things like creating a cert context, making a win error if, and then checking the win error. And the code's on GitHub.